how's it going guys this is ice ice here welcome back to another video boys i'm making this video to help some of my some of you out there um who are looking on how to find your sense in aimlab or kovacs or whatever you use this is this video is going to teach you how to find your um fortnite sensitivity how to convert your fortnite sensitivity over to either of those aim trainers okay this is the method that i use i'm sure there's other methods but this is the easiest way that i use all right so yeah i'm gonna break i'm gonna just walk through it with you guys so we go into my settings to see what my sense is looking like um here we are so i'm three percent three percent um 1600 dpi okay we are all i'm going to do is pull up google here and we're going to type sensitivity converter right here sensitivity converter then you're going to click on the first one you see i click i go to gaming smart but all of them are pretty good to be completely honest um they're pretty easy to use so up here you're going to convert from fortnite Scroll down to Fortnite, convert to, uh, I mean, you could do the AimLab sensitivity because AimLab does have its own sensitivity. Um, and I'll, I'll just go through that to show you guys. So if you have the, an AimLab, hold on, let me pull up AimLab to show you guys what your settings should look like in there as well. You're gonna open up AimLab, go into your settings, scroll down to controls. Yep, controls here at the top, it's going to say game settings. Your game profile, you want that set to Fortnite or whatever game you're trying to convert to, okay? This isn't, this doesn't just apply to Fortnite. Apply to whatever game you're playing. Go here, scroll to whatever game. If you're a Fortnite player, you just keep it on Fortnite or if you could just keep it on Aim Labs, you know, Aim Labs default settings like this. You could do that as well. And then you would just go to, uh, your sensitivity converter and the game that you're converting to, you would just put that as whatever game profile you have in here in AimLab, okay? Or in Kovacs, because it's the same thing for Kovacs. Um, make sure you have the game profile set to whatever game you're trying to convert to, okay? Here in our, in our case, we're gonna put it to Fortnite. And yeah, go back to the game sensitivity converter. All right, then you open up the converter convert to we're gonna i mean if you're keeping the game profile to aim lab you can leave it to aim lab and here it says enter original game sensitivity so obviously if you're gonna have um i think it only works in this particular game in this particular way that i do it only works if your x and y are the same sensitivity in fortnite you could customize your own x and y there's not just one sensitivity so this works if you, I like consistency. So I like the fact that it's like this. There are people who play with a different X and Y sensitivity. So for those of you who are like that, I think you would have to focus on this, this measurement over here. You would have to, from on a game to game basis, you would have to focus on your 360, your CM and just for 360 or whatever, which I'm not familiar with very much. I don't like this, I, I don't find value in this personally but I'm sure you can if you look into it. You could convert this to any game you want to, any game at all. So for now, we're gonna leave it to Aim Lab. We're gonna leave it, you're converting to the Aim Lab. Uh, make sure in Aim Lab, you have your game profile set to Aim Lab and not Fortnite, or whatever game you're trying to convert to, you're gonna leave it to Aim Lab. Um, put your sense to whatever it is, mine was a three. <laughs> Then you're going to go to DPI setting and you're going to put your DPI. My DPI is 1600. You're converting to, again, I'm keeping my DPI the same, so I'm converting to 1600. Your converted sensitivity is gonna pop up here. That's my converted sensitivity. This value here is my aim lab sensitivity. So we're gonna go back to aim lab. You're gonna go to game profile and you're gonna set it to aim lab at the top. I think it automatically converts over. So as you can see right here, it says three. This is my sensitivity currently. And if I switch over to aim lab, aim lab, it's already the sensitivity that we just, just uh, that it just gave us in uh, the converter. So yeah, as you can see, that's the correct sensitivity. And I hope you guys find that method useful because this is the method I use. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try to either make a video about it or respond to you as soon as possible. 
other than that guys i hope you have a beautiful day don't forget to leave a like on the video if you got anything of value from this video it lets me know that i'm on the right path and i helped a lot of guys yeah have a beautiful day guys i'll see you in the next one peace Thank you.